but I can hear all the positive things that are being said today, but the one thing that we should not forget is inequality exists and it does affect artists. It does affect an artist who is in Kyrgyz or Metro Plain or Manuelberg and it does impact on whether they are able to come to town and hustle the whole night and be able to go back home or go to Joburg. That, that, that's something that we also have to know as well, that it does exist. But I, I, I get and also I'm like encouraged by the, the advice that we have to network and work together. I think mm -hmm. it's more about working together and also getting SABC, the access to the media is so hard and it requires resources. Making a video, it costs thousands of rands. Doesn't need to. It, 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 you make a video yourself for now. Doesn't need to. But it won't be it, it won't be played on SABC One. You can play you can it on YouTube. You can tell you that. Um, but you are having good examples of what people can do, but in some cases money can also be a stumbling block. I want to show you. I want to show you what happens in Kibera in the slums in Kenya where it's like Alex. I don't know if you've seen the kind of squalor that it's one of the biggest slums in Africa. They make a plan. They have a film school. If you collaborate with people together, if you build together, you can do astonishing stuff. And it really does not matter how much money you've got. You can upload and you just, you make, make, Give. You do not. You do not need to follow the way the world has shown us to be. I know you feel broken. I know you feel like it's hard for the SABC to pay attention to you. But I promise you that they are starting to pay attention to social media. If people are making a noise and sharing your work, they will come to you. They will yeah. come to your group. I just want to ask all the amazing tourists that we've had and our people we've discovered on YouTube and Fantastic New and all that other offers. Uh, it only happens, it seems like it only happens in the United States, you know. Um, I'm going to say, like, I work, I work for Good Up, and we've got a website which is Good Up with MWC, you know, it's blah, blah, blah. I think they pay like 50,000 rand for a movie site as well. But I don't know any of the DJs on radio who do our shows and tell people to go to our website. Yeah. Every DJ signs in on Facebook the minute they get there. And the DJs actually have swollen heads thinking that their shows are better because they get stupid comments from people. And sometimes you can do a mix and you have 70 comments, but it's just kids talking to each other on your status saying, I'm going to be in the mix. And the same with the Twitter account. And again, it's like I said, you can do that. Yesterday I saw, I think Roxanne showed me, the longest video on YouTube is like 500 hours or something. And I was like, do people actually watch it? It had like 8 million views. But all it is, it's actually a black screen with the text saying the longest video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that means 8 million people wanted to see. And I mean, you have weird ways. You can make a little song that after 10 seconds you actually start rapping, and the first 10 seconds have a picture of Beyonce. You tag it that it's Beyonce, Jay Z sex tape. And you have a million people <laughs> wanting to view it. After 4 seconds, they'll know it's not a sex tape, but, but they will still say a million people viewed your video. <laughs>